I asked them, when, why do you want me? And they said, because we saw start the revolution without me. And there was something craziness there that made us think about you as Willy Wonka. That's how it came about. I wouldn't put it in the category of young Frankenstein, but I did, I did enjoy doing that film a great deal. I, I, uh, I, th I don't know if you know this, but I wouldn't have done the film if they didn't let me come out walking as a cripple and then getting my cane stuck into a cobblestone and then doing a forward somersault and then bouncing up and they all applauded. And the director said, whoa, 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 what do you want to do that for? And I said, because from that point on, no one will know whether I'm telling the truth or lying. And he said, you mean if I say no, you won't do the film? And I said, that's right, I won't. And I meant it, too. So they let me do it. And I, that, that's the part that I liked, that I could be, you didn't know whether I was telling the truth when I talked to the kids, or where I, was I lying? And then at the very end, when I blow my top at this young boy, really angry, and I had to tell the sound man, be prepared because I'm going to be loud and I don't want to rehearse it that way with him. I want to shock the boy. And I did. Uh, he didn't cry, but I think he was close to crying. And the scene came off well. But I did enjoy doing it because it was a sort of a unique film for me. I hadn't done any films like that before. And so I did enjoy it. But I, I wouldn't say all-time favorite. But if you ask the kids today, every four and a half years I get a new generation. And uh, I see when I'm walking down the street, their eyes light up, they saw Willy Wonka, you know, and it's funny, it's good.